Okay, so in this video, we're going to cover this category in blue. It's the plus black removal. In the um, Photoshop version of Pixel Moshpit's rasterization kit. So as usual, um, I've started from scratch. I've opened up an image, um, and you'll notice that it's locked. We want to make sure this is unlocked, otherwise it's not going to work. So I'm going to skip over um, explaining uh, the different halftone shapes and sizes. We've covered that in other videos. Go ahead and um, head back and watch those if you don't understand. Uh, but let's go ahead and run one of these functions. This time I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with a, let's do the the line at 35 LPI. So it'll be a bigger line and the vertical version. So let's go ahead and uh, with that layer selected, click this button. So the usual disclaimer, this process will move as fast as the hardware your computer has or the document resolution, which by default should be 300. If you're working it with anything lower, it's not going to work out too great for you. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. So make sure your doc document's at 300 DPI um, at minimum. Otherwise, you're going to probably get some pretty bad results. Now, another thing is you can resize this action window if you kind of don't want to scroll scroll, ugh, scroll around a whole lot. You can kind of pull it out and we can kind of get to the buttons quickly. So with that process done, I just want to add the background garment color, which I want to see what it looks like on black. And let's go ahead. So here's where... Um, what we were left with, which is this folder, and it labels, it's a uh, plus BR for the plus black removal. And let's dive into that folder. So what you're going to see is a hues layer and a blacks layer. And what's really great about this function is sometimes people do not want to have um, all of the black removed from an image. They want to let the printer kind of handle some of the darker colors um, and not really relying on half toning for that. So let's go ahead and we'll turn off the garment color. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So with this black layer, let's go ahead and toggle it off and on. So I'm going to turn off the black, and you'll see uh, it, it basically works like the perfect black removal. Um, but you have to be careful with this one because it is kind of dependent on where those black words to where the black was in the half toning process. But with this one, what's really great if you want the printer to kind of handle some of that stuff and not completely take away. Um, the black's influence uh, on the colors, this is going to be your great option. And you can, with this black layer, as you can see, I'm toggling off and on. It's affecting the color, but you're letting the printer kind of handle that stuff. And what's cool is you can uh, basically turn down the influence of that black by changing the opacity of that black layer. You can see as I scroll, I can kind of tweak that on the fly. So it's a really great option when you want to have that control. You're going to want to run the plus black removal option. Uh, I don't feel like I need to dive into the details of the shapes again. I've covered this in previous videos, so hop back, at, like I said, and check those out if you don't understand what they are. But this is the plus black removal function um, in the Photoshop version of Pixel Mosh Pit's rasterization kit. And I believe the final video in the series, which will probably be updated over time, we're going to go ahead and cover these two top... Um, let me throw this back into a more vertical layout. Uh, the two top buttons here are the trans cleanup standard and aggressive uh, they're they uh, can be very destructive depending on what you're doing and I'll show you an example of that and I'll show you a good example of kind of how to manage that but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching